that I help the staff here. So when, so when if you can't, people can't get in here, we'll have somebody here. So if something happens, floor goes down, they can get the floor back up and running. Air handler goes down, they can get it back up and running. And we have we have four wheel drive trucks too that we we come in. I have to come in to the first responder. I have to come in to, to make sure everything goes smoothly. We came in Monday night at 6 p.m. on standby. When uh, ice started, we went out about 10 o'clock. Started sending the bridges, trying to get ahead of everything. Then we stayed out until 6 o'clock the next morning. Had another crew come in, take over, and start sanding the roads throughout Tuesday. Then uh, we had another crew come back in Tuesday night at 6.30. Stayed out all night, uh, sanding the roads when the calls came in. And we went back out Wednesday. So cars in ditch, had a fire truck on Sicko Holler stuck in a ditch where he slid. Uh, had an 18 wheeler on Chapel Mountain sideways. For instance, we had in the middle of the night, probably two o'clock in the morning, we had a truck to break down in the middle of the road. And we had to call and wake a mechanic up out of his sleep to get him to come out to work on a truck in the middle of the road at two o'clock in the AM. We're pretty much like a family out here. We get trucks prepared, you have to have mechanics standing by, you got crews standing by to stand away from home and their family. And you come out and you load up the trucks with sand, really to keep the pump safe, the roads safe, so you call it up. Our good crew make anything easy. We appreciate the help that we're getting down here, and we got the guys on it. And if it does come about again, hopefully we'll be ready again and able to serve the public.